and Aryan Bov will start on the floor for the Mongolians. Dabasambu, he's got a he's got more of a green light to shoot twos this year, I've noticed too. He's normally known just a, as a dominant player on the interior, but he's been putting up the twos a bunch here in 2022. Drop it like it's hard. Okay, Dogun to Dabasambu. He's way long, so he's got back-to-back -back misses from two range. He's smiling as he heads to the bench. Steve Sir looking on as he's helped get these guys ready in order. He took a coaching job with uh, Mongolia. And we've seen it really translate to better play, especially when he's played with them on the Pro Tour. He's giving them that shooting that they needed. Speaking of shooting, he's a gunner. There's Aryan Bow getting the scoring going for the Mongols. Anand slicing through the defense. He's going to go right back to the same spot, but he does not get the same result. And he's going to check out. Davasambu is in. That add and shooting element is all that Mongolia has been missing. Davasambu moving some furniture. The bull cannot get the score though. Now Davasambu patiently waits and he didn't forget to tip. There's some gratuity. Off the iron, it flies. That one flying from the corner. Ink by Atar. Couldn't connect, so. There's Aryan Bold Hill. He's actually going to set up on the right elbow. And he swings it quickly. Moves left, spins. That was. Tornadic. Lou. Wow, oh, missed it. Got a second chance at it and still missed it. There's Del Gun. He pulls the trigger. Fires a blank. Chiang. Long ball. Front rim. Del Gun will get it to Anand. Aryan Bolt trying to whip it down to Del Gun. His hook is a miss. Hand up, so what? Splash from Chun. So Chiang, he's answered Aryan Bowl's two. Although Mongolia lead it by two still. Four deuce game. Pool B action for the men. Keep it on the men's side for the next game as well. Chile and Lithuania. Navasambu will get it back. That time, he knows what to do with it. Up and in. Iqbatar, a little bit too handsy. Keep your hands to yourself. Gets called for the foul. First on Mongolia. What a move by Chiang. He Supplying pressure, does not finish. Aryan Bolt kicks it. Long two. They have struggled connecting. They need some more bars for reception. Dull gun guns it again. That time he hits his mark. He's a marksman over there. Probably his most consistent shooting area on the court is that corner. Dogun will give him a 7-3 advantage. The Mongolians, that is. Chiang took too much time. He got called for 
three seconds with his back to the bucket. I mentioned this rule several times today, but I'm mentioning it again. You're going to see that as a point of emphasis this year. You don't get five seconds like you would before. Once you put the ball on the court with your back to the bucket, you get three seconds or it's a violation. Aryan Bold, high arc. It arced right on out of bounds. Four point lead for the Mongolians. We're seven, we're under seven minutes to play. Next dead ball, we'll get a TV timeout. Liu, plush on the jumper. Aryan a lot of attention being paid to him. Ink by Atar. He's going to make the easy layup. Look at the defense from Doug Gunn. Oh, did not matter. D that up. Splash. Chinese Taipei hanging in there. As Aryan Bo gets it to Ink Batar. He scores over the defense. Pull up. Tough two. Doug Gunn. He will clear it himself. Hands it over to Anand Aryan Bolt. Aryan Bolt feeds it inside. Ink Batar. Count that. So we're seeing Chinese Taipei. They're not afraid to let it go. They are very much in the game. Make no mistake, it's 10-6. They're keeping it all in the family. We saw Kulan Anol Batar in the previous game. Now Ink Batar Anol Batar, the 27-year-old, that's, that's his sister. They probably have some nice battles in the backyard coming up. Do they have backyards in Mongolia? They got they got whole plains lands to play on. They oh cross over. Chiang couldn't hit that one, but he does get it back. Elevates, scoop de doop. Three point difference here. The bull. He's charging. Aryan Bold. That's like a layup. Threads. Five point advantage. Lou. Oh my goodness. He just left Delgranam. Now the bull trying to bully him down low. Dogun pulls the trigger. And he fires a blank right into the front of the rim, but he picks his pocket. Dan the bull makes easy work underneath. Now Mongolia is starting to string together some possessions. They lead it by five. Dogun with another steal. He's made a habit of taking what you got. Foul called on Chinese Taipei, trying to stop the bull from getting free under the rim. They've, up, uh, they've accumulated now five fouls. Mongolia with one foul. And again, a five-point lead. They've settled into this game, and here they are, looking pretty menacing going forward. I don't know if Chinese Taipei did the scouting report because they keep letting Anan get looks. They dodged the bullet there. He comes down with it. Ink Batar, jump hook, no. Didn't put enough sauce on it. Just over four minutes to go. The shots are flying, just not through the net. Here comes Anan. He stops short on the drive. Ink Batar, he misses the layup. The opportunities are there. Mongolia lead it by five. Not the comfiest of leads, but a solid lead. And let's listen in to the Chinese Taipei huddle. Now, 
so I, at the start of this possession, it looks like uh, official Eddie Liu wants to talk something over with official Yasmina. Should be white foul, blue ball. And now that that's what the hang up was. I was, I was thinking that. It's Chinese Taipei ball. Mongolia tried to pull a fast one on him. That was too deep, clearly. After the air ball, Delgunyam Davasambu will start the attack for the Warriors from Mongolia. There's Delgun. He's got it off safety. Now, Delgun will kick it. Ink Batar right down low to the bull. He misses the shot, but that's because he was hacked. The bull at the line tickles the twine. That lead is growing for Mongolia. Not for long, though. Two piece, no biscuit, courtesy of Kai Yu Wang. Aryan Bolt with another miss from two range. Up fake, baseline drive, floaty. Uh uh. Aryan Bolt gets the big screen from Davasambu. He wants to feed the big fella. That was not obviously a three in the three seconds with back to the basket. That's, that's a three in the key. I guess a more traditional call. Foul on the floor. Number three on Mongolia. Chinese Taipei have no more to give. So they trail this thing by six. 10 minutes print to 21. Y'all still with us? Dogun, he's not with Chiang anymore. He lost him. Anand steps through, missed it front rim. Up fake. Tough attempt. Dogun. He's the thief. He got away with the Wilson. And he's got it in his hands again. Aryan Bold all day long. 18-11, the Mongolian star, wow. That was deeper than spoken word. 18 to 13. Although I think Mongolia actually might have more than that. Yeah, 19 is what the call is. All they need is a two. Though Gun says go down low. Chinese Taipei, they snuffed it out. Kick ball on Ink Batar. So with a minute 55 left, Mongolia is well in position to get this W if they can hold off Chinese Taipei. Chinese Taipei though has shown the ability to be able to knock it down from two So Mongolia, they're probably going to want to end this swiftly. Ah, uh, Tabasambu uh, lost it. Young. Jab, step, cash. Another deep deuce. Iqbatar missed it, keeps it alive. That one, he's able to lay in. Point game, Mongolia. Chiang left to Wilson. Step through, two attempt. Iqbatar confiscates the board, they'll kick it out. The gun lets it go. Bottoms, 
22-15, Mongolia. They find their offensive rhythm. And they come out with a dub here. Chinese Taipei. I think there were certainly certainly flashes that they could they could find some consistency shooting that ball from deep.